She's giving him. She's giving him. I don't know if you could take it. No, you want to see me naked, naked, naked. But not on camera. <laughs> okay, we're going back to being PG. All right. <laughs> Boom, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week's video is gonna be on how I moved, why I moved, and I have my roommate here, Hi. Jasmine. I'm so um, honored, you guys. <laughs> Hi, mom. Ah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna do a little Q and A on why we moved. I know y'all seen the background. It's you know it's different it's different it's not the little wood panels no more hello it's ain't no red curtain here it's different Let's switch up real quick come on check the location <laughs> <Change up. laughs> Change. i'm really sponsored but kind of sponsored i know y'all see me wearing lashes i don't really be wearing lashes that much but i decided to give it a try um I'm so proud. and i put them on myself with a lot of struggle, but I put them on myself. We came along like oh. <laughs> So these lashes are called Flatter and they're from Lash Mix Studio. I'll link their Instagram down below, but super affordable, black owned, black woman owned. You already know the vibes. You know what we doing. We supporting period. black businesses, period. <laughs> um, so yeah, before we get into this video, y'all know, like, comment, subscribe. We'll comment after the video, but like and subscribe because why else are you here if you don't if you're not subscribed to me you're a hater but that's we're just gonna move on past that oh also lip gloss by lash mix studio um should we give our little spiel about our move sure you start okay um <laughs> so if y'all follow me on instagram you know i was in dc for three months um studying in january so i came out here for like training for work or whatever and originally the plan was for me to just like you know come out here do my little three months go back to new york and then the pandemic hit and so literally two months in i wasn't working in the office anymore i ended up moving back to new york in april um but around that time like kind of figuring out what I wanted to do, I was like, hmm, you know, I really like the DC office. I kind of want to stay. So I was, you know, looking around for single apartments in DC, Maryland, all that stuff. And then my good friend Jasmine hits the group chat and she's like, y'all. My group FaceTimed everybody and I was like, guess what y'all? Your girl got into George Mason. We lit, we out to the DMV. Okay, so. We're going to rewind it real quick. So, as y'all may know or may not know, I am from Dallas, Texas. But ever since going to Syracuse, I just knew I was meant for the East Coast. My friends were always getting on me about the time difference. But anyways, we're not talking about it. I just knew I was meant for the East Coast. So, I was just so happy to come back and just see something new. You know, got to switch up real quick. So, yes. Yeah. And so when she said she got accepted to George Mason, I was like, hmm, Fairfax not that far away. So we just took it as a sign from God. We lived together before Thanks. in college. She's my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm going to make a move. Who better to do it with? Exactly. And well, my like mom. My parents loved each other. Literally. <laughs> it was just like, it was just, it was just meant to be. So it just made sense. God just, he really just, it was a blessing. So. Mm hmm so I was like, boom, I guess we looking for two bedrooms. Hello. And now, fast forward, we here. Um, there you go. That was one question. Do you have a roommate? Yes, I do. It's me. It's me. It's the DMV. DC is already very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we can kind of explain where we are. So okay. like, if yeah. I start the suburb, you know. Um, so rent in DC, I wouldn't say it's definitely not comparable to New York. It's not on some, you paying 2,500 for a one bedroom that's the size of a fucking closet. Definitely not that. Um, mm -hmm. like I did find some, so my budget at first for that one bedroom, I was trying to pay like no more than like 1,300 a month for my one bedroom. I wanted a patio. I wanted 
a laundry in unit, all that stuff. And I did find it, but um It probably wasn't cute. Yeah, no, like it was cute or whatever, but like I'm just getting a lot more for my money out yeah. here. Um, so we have a two bedroom, two bathroom. Um, we're in so Fairfax is like outside DC, like we're like so we're technically Northern Virginia. No, but we're baby. Not, no <laughs> babes. <laughs> so we're not, um, we're not really like, I can't say I live in DC because I don't. I'm like 30 minutes out. But by train, like there's a station near us. It's, we're right by the highway. We're 30 minutes out, like literally just like, and it's exactly like 30 minutes. So like I lived in New York City and I was from Brooklyn. Like I was from Canarsie. So, Canarsie is basically like living in Canarsie and traveling to Manhattan or traveling to Harlem, the Bronx, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's literally the equivalent to what I'm doing now. Actually, my commute was farther in Canarsie. Um, so, like me trying to get to Midtown was probably like an hour and 30 minutes by train. Out here, 45 minutes, you know. It's really the suburbs because like me, I lived in Arlington, which is like kind of like the suburb outside of downtown Dallas. Mm -hmm. So it took us like 30 minutes to get to downtown to really go do everything. So it's kind of equivalent, like with any suburb, you know, it's just gonna be a little bit more outside of the major city. So it's, it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, there's, you know, a lot of black folk. We be seeing a lot of black folk in our area. We'd love to see it. Sorry, we haven't we haven't gotten it. <clears throat> we haven't gotten adjusted to the go-go just yet. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, listen, if you got a go-go playlist, send it. Please send, send it. it. So right out here, it's definitely more affordable. Um, I mean, I guess we could just say how much we're paying. I don't know. Some people never say how much they're paying for rent. Honestly, and they're like weird about it. we pay less than a thousand a piece for yeah. rent. Yeah, less than a thousand so, a piece. And we have what? We have the patio. We mm -hmm. have washer and dryer included. Then we have a glass uh like a glass uh stove. Mm -hmm. a, well, a glass top oven. That's a yeah. dishwasher. Yeah. Um, we have package concierge. We mm -hmm. parking is included. Don't have to pay for that. Um, and the only thing we pay for is like utilities out of pocket. Yeah. But like, it's literally like, even even with utilities on top, we're still paying less than a thousand each a month. Yeah. Which so. you can't find anywhere else. Um, do you <laughs> have to have a car there? Um. Well. Seen as how I don't have a car yet, it hasn't been too bad. You just have, you know, such a lovely roommate to, you know, show for your route. No, I'm just kidding. But um, there's literally, there's a bus stop right outside of our house. Mm -hmm. So even like me looking up stuff to, you know, go to here to Maryland and stuff like that, it's still about like an hour commute through bus or whatever. And it's only a few transfers. So it didn't seem too bad. Yeah. Like the gift of public transportation. I, I did not oh, yeah. have public transportation in Dallas. So, I mean, just being around public transportation just seems like it makes everything so much better, so. No, yeah. And yeah. Um, like I said, like I brought my car here, but I was gonna be commuting to work regardless. Yeah. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and a lot, some of the apartment complexes out here do have like shuttles to the train station since we're so close to that metro. Mm -hmm. um, so there's also that like I don't think you have to have a car it's not yeah. like you know it's definitely not super accessible as like New York City where there's a freaking train station at every corner but it's definitely accessible without a car what's wrong with New York oh uh, they're just robbing you freaking like, robbing, robbing you. you like there was no way I was about to move out on my own in New York City and live as comfortably as I am now. Like, I would have been living paycheck to paycheck. That's just like, not a way to live. Come like, on, no, no. It's cute to visit. Like, but not listen. to live. And my mom was so proud. She's like, oh, like, you could just buy a house out here. Buy, buy what? Buy a house. Buy what? That's a, that's like a, I'm a student live. loan. Just to buy a house. That house going to be smaller than this apartment. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. still be paying like a two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar mortgage. Excuse me. Your, your kitchen and, no. your, and your bathroom gonna be like <laughs> five hundred less than five hundred feet away I from know. each other. Like I know y'all seen that article with the where the bathroom was in the kitchen in Williamsburg. No, I'm good. And it was like I'm a two thousand dollar a month studio with the bathroom. This tub, the tub was right next to the sink. Nah, no, no, thank no, you. It's a no. No, for thank me. you. In short, your money just goes farther, mm -hmm. and like. I'm in Virginia right now, but I'm trying to keep going south. Listen, I'm trying to hit up Atlanta. I'm trying to go to a little Dallas. 
You know, you see how she's stopped like, in Durham, did that Greensboro. We're we out here. I'm, I'm trying to. We're trying to move up. Like maybe we could stay in the middle. This ain't that's fine. Enough for me. I need okay, we can go further down. But Texas, I'm trying to leave Texas. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the good part of our apartment, right, oh, yes. and what it covers. But you know, with being in a nicer area. There's a, there's a few fees that we didn't like, such as we have to pay for valet trash. So they come pick up the trash. You know, the good part is they come pick up the trash Monday, what, Sunday through Thursday? Yeah, and right they come right door. to your doorstep. But it's a little it's a little fee for that. So it's just like, yeah. we put out the trash every day. Bro, we every never day. leave the trash <laughs> in the house. Because we're paying for it, we're going to use that we're using it. I'd be like, the bag's half empty. I don't care. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. <laughs> Come on. So, because um, this was like, this was one of like the first apartments we looked at. And yeah. we just weren't like, we didn't think it was a necessity to have valet trash. So mm -hmm. we just looked at other places. But the other yeah. places had like white fridges and stuff. And yeah. We just Ooh, weren't. Baby, the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> we just weren't feeling that. You know, we were trying to level up in, in life, you know. I knew this wasn't gonna happen, but like in an ideal world, you know, we wouldn't have to pay for utilities. It would be all included. Yeah. And I was trying to have them at least pay like water or something or something. But no, we pay all the utilities ourselves. Yeah. So we'll see how the first month is hitting. Might have to break that lease if it's looking a little too much. Boy, are we just gonna be walking around in the dark? That I, I was thinking it was just lighting a candle and just walking around in bro. the dark. What? No, no AC. We're just going to leave that the window. First light bill, <laughs> that first light bill. That first light bill. I'm be like, mm. Mm. Um, I didn't have a real savings up until like April. Um, so I had my savings with my current bank. And this is in my college. You know, got my little refund check. But every time I would open up the banking app, I would see my savings balance. And I'd be like, oh, you know, like I could spend a little more. So we buy bottles. We would buy tickets for events. If I didn't have it in my checking, I would just transfer it out my savings, you know? <laughs> and I didn't know there was a little limit that you can't transfer more than six times. And they shut my shit down. They literally, like, well, first it would be like I would get charges every time I would go over. And it was annoying. And then they literally sent me one final warning. And I went in the app one day and all I had was a checking. And they also charged me like a closing fee for the account. It was just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, left a bad taste in my mouth. Never, never had a savings since. Um, but you know, we grown now. We salaried. So I had to start a savings account. Um, but I knew I couldn't have it with the same bank that like, you know, I have my checking with. So I opened up a new savings. Um, and... That way, you know, it's a separate account. I'm not really looking at it. I also automated everything. So every paycheck, um, whatever percent comes out. Um, and I also have a separate debit account for my bills. This is a lot, but I'm telling you it helps. Um, but Janista taught me this. You have a separate account for your bills and you automate that and you transfer however much those bills are. And it's also a cash back debit. So I get cash back for just paying shit that I have to pay already. Um, so that way, and I also made like a huge budget spreadsheet. You can just like Google one, honestly, but I'll link the one that I use down below. Um, it's intimidating, y'all. It I'm just gonna tell y'all that off bat because I've tried it, I've looked at it, I needed a glass of wine and it was only new. That's just gonna tell you how intense it is. But it's great. But it gives you insights and stuff like that, but it stressed me out. <laughs> okay, sorry. But yeah. Um, so once I have like, I have all my bills outlined, mm -hmm. um, and then also like note what my take home pay is after taxes. Um, and then I just go from there, you know, like I would also, um, take on average, like how much I spend on groceries. I'd say usually like a hundred a month or something. Um, and then like set bills things that don't change mm -hmm. and then from there it's just all about discipline bro like i literally like and shout out taylor i know she's gonna be watching this my friend taylor literally told me transfer 90 percent into your account and then that's it whatever's in your check-in that's all you have for the next two weeks like if i'm broke 
I'm not broke, but like, if I say I can't go out, it's because I just don't have it in my check and I'm not about to transfer it over. Like, st people can say whatever they want, but you're saving. Like, you just have to have discipline, honestly, because if shit hits the fan, I need to make sure I have, you know, at least like five months rent in my savings. So I'm good, you know, like, mm -hmm. it's just stuff like that. Like you literally, like I literally don't ever transfer out of it unless it's like on some like, I paid bills and I'm behind. But even then, like I make sure that I budget enough so that never has to happen. Ooh. Yeah, she pretty much covered all the bases. But, um, okay, so, you know, I'm, I was doing my little gap year, you know, after college. I'm paying the bigger picture here, y'all. So I'm doing my little gap year. I'm taking all these trips. I'm like, ooh, right, but I still need to save because I know I'm going to be in grad school in the future. So I started using this app called Digit. And in Digit, it's like you can plan like, okay, I want to save this much, this much, this much for, you know, certain amount of things. And it would take little coins out of your pocket or out of your bank account throughout the day or throughout the week. So you could save up to those goals. And then, you know life happened and I didn't take any of these trips because I was sitting at home. So um, same way Couture did, I, at that point I was just like, okay, I need to put myself on a budget. So I would take a certain, I, would, I, I wouldn't even say a certain percentage, I would take like maybe 100, 200 or whatever out of my, my paycheck and that would be my budget for the next two weeks and mm -hmm. I would put the rest in my savings. And then um, for me, Chase didn't close down my checking account, but them little 20 cent, less than a dollar interest that was, I mean, like our cash back I was getting a month, I wasn't here for it. I was just like, I could be, I could just keep this in cash at this point. Literally. And I would probably be saving more money <laughs> because, hello, you know? <laughs> because they weren't giving me anything back. So, you know, she put me on to Discover and... I, I'm, I'm liking the cash I'm getting back mm -hmm. and that's honestly that's a that's a big incentive to me to leave money in my in my uh, savings account yeah. because when you see you're just getting money for just having, having money the sit system. there that's my that's all the incentive I need I'm just like I'm making money and I'm not doing anything to, for it mm -hmm. um, tools to use definitely don't just like sit there and Google like apartments and so and so like if you're looking in New York City um use street easy um it also covers like part of like jersey now like jersey city and um those areas so street easy if you're looking for new york city they also have um apartment listings with non-broker fees um and then for everywhere else we used was it apartment guide or apartment.com apartment apartment .com. Apartment yeah. um and you literally like you put in your budget you put in things that you want for sure like things that are non-negotiable for us I think we put washer and dryer, mm -hmm. um, and then maybe parking or something. You yeah, know, something like, like parking. yeah. And if you're like, you know, if you're going to like grad school or you're in college and you're mm -hmm. looking for off-campus housing, they have like most schools have a system where you can go and put that those same criteria into like a filter and it'll start showing you things in the area that they recommend and stuff like that. So yeah, those are that's always a good tool to do. And, and then, just read the reviews. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, read the reviews. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds crazy, but go on Yelp. They be snitching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If people don't like the apartment, they will leave Yelp a review. Yelp will tell you. Yelp will tell you Yelp everything. The people tell who you, te bro. who leave Yelp reviews have nothing but time. <laughs> Obviously, we did everything virtually because I was in New York, Jasmine was in Dallas. We not we not driving or flying to see apartments, and we're right. in a pandemic, so they were doing everything virtual anyway. So we kind of just had to rely on like the reviews and how the um how the tour went. Right. Um, oh, and YouTube. Yes, you know? and YouTube. And, and YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Um. So when we came here and we saw, like, first of all, all the apartment complexes that we were looking at were all right next to each other. Yeah, literally. And we were passing by and be like, "Ooh, right. we know that one. We know the T." <laughs> and some of them, we were just like, mm, "I see why they left them reviews." Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely look up reviews. Make sure you know you call up that leasing office. You ask them every question you want to ask. Like, yeah. They ask about specials too. Yeah. And low key, they weren't gonna tell us that the amenity fee would have been waived yeah. if Jasmine didn't ask. Because it's like, especially because of like the pandemic going on and stuff like that, a lot of places are trying to give out some incentive mm -hmm. 
to move. So always just ask, like ask those questions. Are these specials? Like yeah. when they when our rent came out, we were like, is there any possibility that it's going? You know, it'll be lower like in the future and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you have the possibility that they're not going to tell you the truth and be like, yeah, this is the lowest price you're going to get. But most of the time, they'll just be honest with you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So just. Ask any question that you're feeling uncertain of or anything, just just ask. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll do a full apartment tour once everything's kind of like, you know, once it looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, once it's gram worthy. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> once it's gram worthy. Um, but yeah, that's all we've got. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. As I said before, these lashes are from Lash Mix Studio in the style Flatter. Yes, girl, I'm going to go get me some. Also got this lip gloss. Yes, got, got to get mm -hmm. you some. So this lip gloss from Lash Mix Studio and these shades. Stop playing with me. Aren't they so cute? Stop they just playing. Look like little they're, just, Stop. they're just precious. Stop playing. Oh, not the wine glass. <laughs> Okay, it's BBB, Big Bang Bay. Period. Oh, as you should. As you should. Well, I'm gonna step oh. my pockets up and go get me some lashes too, y'all. Oh, cause I thought a girl wearing mascara had to say something to say. It's it's, yeah, it's, the, it's the details for me. It's the details, it's the details for me. It's for the me. lashes for me. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. See you guys next week. As always, thank you for watching. Oh, that's cute. <laughs>